This is the best offense to use in Madden 24. You got most. It has explosive run plays. Run. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And one play touchdown has a score versus any defense in the game. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. So if you want to see what explosive offense I'm using to get results like this, that's just too easy. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays that I'm using in today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my eBooks instantly by clicking the links in the description or the top end comment. In today's video, we have a robbery game between the Dallas Cowboys. They are the Dallas Cowboys. America's team. If you guys don't know, the reason I use the Eagles all the time is because I am an Eagles fan. So anytime I play against a team like the Cowboys or the Niners, I want to put a little something extra on it. We want Dallas! Dallas! We hate you! I start this game out on defense, and I'm going to start by using my 3 4 odds scheme. I've already made several videos about this defense, but I'm mostly going to focus on offense in this video. So if you guys want to learn more about this, I will have links in the description as well as on screen pop at the end of the video. My opponent starts the game trying to pound the rock. Here. We start the game meeting him at the handoff and pushing him backwards. He comes out under center again on the next play and switches to a bunch formation, but he is going to have to run his offense from shotgun or something. <laughs> if he expects to have any time to pass. He finally comes out to shotgun on third and 18 though, and he motions out the running back to mess up my blitz pre-snap. Huh? As he picks up the first down against the one-on-one -on -one coverage. Yeah. And now he is back to running the ball and not getting much on the ground. I switch to cover six on the next play and he gets it to third and short. Only this time I pick cover four as it's supposed to be my best run defense. You sure about that? But I blitz all linebackers as his offensive line just paves the lane for the easiest walking touchdown of his life. God damn it! And now I'm pissed. The offense I'll be using today is once again my new favorite formation in the gun wing flex offset as this is one of the glitchiest formations in the game this year. I put out a full breakdown of this offense already on my channel so if you guys want to see all the things that this offense is capable of, I'll once again have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. My audible plays are still the same as the first video I made about this offense starting out with the wheel post drag which is a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses. The PA double post which is also a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses. I use the stick nod vertical which is my best best play against man zero blitz and last but not least i have the inside zone as this is pretty much the only run play that i need my fifth and current play is going to be the mesh spot as this is the best dink and dunk play to use as just about every route here can get open against man or zone when i come out of the huddle i see that he's in a very small defense so i try to run the ball and weak box this defense but this backfires in a big way as he somehow shuts down all of this and forces me into a fourth and six to start the game that i feel i have to go for so I finally call the double drags play as I have multiple options here to get open and I take the drag route for the easy first down. My opponent does a lot of adjustments on the next play. But when I get back to the huddle, it turns out it was just a covered three. So on the next play, since I am already on the hash mark, all I have to do is streak this tight end here. And he will pull back any deep zones in the area, allowing the B route tight end to get open underneath for a big first down. As this trick works against any zone coverage. First down! He switches it up on the next play and sends the house in a man zero blitz, so I expect him to do it again on the next play. So that's why I switched to the stick nod vertical, as all I have to do in this play versus any man coverage is motion across the X receiver so that the Y receiver is on the outside, and that is because this route destroys man coverage for some reason. As it turns out, he was actually in a cover two man on the play, but this route destroys it all the same as we tie it up seven apiece. Back on defense, I switched to another scheme in my Big Nickel Over G defense, which is another video that I put out recently and I'll once again have a link in the description for. He gets a decent run on the first play, but on the second play, he drops back to pass. And he also gets dropped for a seven yard loss. He hits me with a screen pass on the next play though, and gets it all back to get to a fourth and four from his own 31 that he decides to go for. But I'm all over that drag. No! Back on offense, points are guaranteed from here, so I start to drive by running the ball, but his defense is giving me nothing on the ground. He comes out another small package on the next play, so I line up to try to weak box him once again, only this time it works out a lot better as we reverse field and pick up five yards. I run a hurry up to keep him in it, and we almost get a first off the back of a huge pancake block. I try to hurry him up one more time, but 
he sees what I'm doing. Timeout! So he wisely calls a timeout and changes to a bigger defense, but I go for it anyway. Hi, fuck you, buddy. And we easily pick up the first on the ground. From here, I go back to the double drags, and this is my best play when I'm in scoring range. So I take the drag and get around everything for an easy walk and touchdown to take the lead. Back on defense, I go back to the big nickel over G, and my opponent is getting aggressive. Firing it all over the field before picking up the first down in the flats underneath my cover three. Before doing it again against my cover two, so I switched to cover zero. And he must have seen that coming on the next play as he counters it perfectly with a slip screen. I go back to man zero again from here. Ah! We get a sack this time as we knock him backwards to a third and 23, making him call his last timeout and forcing him to sell for a field goal with no timeouts left. Ah! Oh, good for you! In the second half, I get the ball, and on the very first play, it looks like he is in cover three. So since I start with the ball in the hash mark, I'm going to try to set up a one-play touchdown right away. All I have to do for this play is put everyone on streaks except for the B tight end, as he will usually pull the cornerback on that side of the field back so the A tight end can get open up the seam. But it looks like he tries to switch defenses on me at the last second to man coverage. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> he could go all the Wait. We score anyway, just in a very different way than I was expecting. Back on defense though, I don't know what happened on the next play, as my user defender just stops and freezes while I'm trying to step up and make a play. What the hell was that? So he gets the touchdown right back, Damn it. and now he's going for two to make it a field goal game. So I'm just going to have to keep scoring. I start by trying to weak box his smaller defense once again, but it's still not working. But at least on the next play, he comes out in a bigger defense. I see that he presses the entire defense, so when I motion across the X receiver, it appears as if he has outside leverage on the zone defender. So I put him on a fade to get around it, just like I did in the video I put out yesterday. And the quarterback gets back in time, but he's still out of position. <laughs> You got most. As we come down with the ball from a much better angle. I hit the running back underneath on the next play for a few yards. This route gets open against any defense if you throw it immediately. Before failing to take advantage of his weak box defense one more time to get to a third and long. From here, I'm happy to just get closer for an easy field goal. So I call the mesh one more time. But the running back is wide open underneath again to get to me to a fourth and inches. So I call a hurry up and run again. And I could have probably thrown it. But why take the chance when I can also pick it up with Hurts' legs? From here, I try to run clock a little bit to get it to the fourth quarter, but I'm also going to switch run plays in my audibles to the power O, as the inside zone just isn't working, and this play will allow me to cut back easier behind the two tight ends. And now we have our run game going as we get down to the six-yard line. From here, I just try to run it again, but he is bulked up, so I will most likely have to pass from here. Nope. So on second down, I take the running back underneath to get closer, before rolling out on third down to try to hit the running back in the back of the end zone. You hear but he steps out of bounds, costing me a down, and now I have to take a field goal. So now up six early in the fourth quarter, I need to stop on defense. And Oops. that doesn't start out well, as I have some confusion about who I'm supposed to be covering on the very first play. He tries to run it from here, but that hasn't really done much since the first drive. <laughs> on second and ten, we're sending the heat to get into a quick third and ten. <laughs> that he somehow picks up on a crosser in a crowd, as my zone defender was just standing there in perfect position to do nothing at all. He's just standing there, menacingly. He hits the running back underneath on the next play, and is already in the red zone with plenty of time, as he now appears to run the clock down to the two minute warning. Two hours later. As it appears, he wants to run clock and score with no time left to guarantee a victory. We'll help him out with that. As we get a sack on the next play and call our first time out. Time out! From here, he tries to hit me with that screenplay one more time. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm all over it this time as we fourth a critical fourth and 12 with the game on the line. <laughs> And that's all folks, is all we have to do from here is take the air out of the ball and run the clock to victory. But this is a rivalry game, so I want to run up the score. Houston, we have a problem. And just like that, we let him right back in the game with 28 seconds left and two timeouts. On the first play, he almost scores as that receiver had a step. That was a close one. On the second play, the pressure gets in fast as he throws it to who? Woo! Since nobody was open. Before he tries that corner out one more time on third and ten, and he had a step. Psych! But I was able to click on and close the distance, and now I'm smelling a pick six. Metal to the metal, then stop. But somehow I get run down by a tight end before I can finish the job. To the metal, then stop. So I'm going to have to go for the touchdown one more time. Huh? Only to throw another interception that he tries the lateral. Fuck you! 
And we scored just how I drew it up as we get the rage crit we were playing for. And hopefully that last touchdown ruined his day. See ya. So that's, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, Woo! please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the channel and I appreciate that a lot. And if you guys want to see more from the offenses or defenses I was using in today's video, I'll once again have them popping up on screen right now. So just click the links as I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below